Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had done some uh, quick stuff down here in the Undercity. We had helped the outcasts find their path to the Promised Land, so there is now no real concerns about the Rat Ghouls or anything else. And it uh, looks like their little rack ghoul group are gone, so there's no new option to deal with them. Oh well. Um, so, now we have to head back up to give the rack ghoul serum to uh, Zelka, I think his name was, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. It would have said in the journal. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't say. All right, so we head back up. And... We'll come all the way back down later. Okay. All right, something seems to be bothering Karth. Okay. Let's talk with him. Yes, what's on your mind? Well, what's on your mind? I wanted to continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Don't you think... <laughs> yes, but I'm bored, so spit it out. Okay, well. Uh, don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. I saw him. Oh. That name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my ah. commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he would betray the Republic? Really? After talking like that, you didn't think he would? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I mm. just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. Oh. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I could have stopped it all. If you had known, you already said you didn't know. I mean, you can't be beating yourself up for that. It's not your fault. You blame yourself for trusting your friend? I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. It still sounds I've like you're blaming Saul for yourself. Years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. So that's all of it then? No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk oh. about it right now. Let's go. Alrighty. There's still more to this story. That's... It's already pretty dark. How bad could it get? Betrayed by a friend and mentor. So much so that you couldn't even conceive of them doing it. There's a... There's a lot to unpack there. Alrighty. Also... There's a thing that I forgot to do in the cantina here. Uh, I forgot to be part of the whole dueling thing. <laughs> I completely forgot to be a part of that. That, uh, that's silly of me, really. Um, I'm pretty sure it's here anyway. I might be wrong. Nope. It's probably in the upper city. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I can't be here. Because this is where Holden was. That's another independent wing. Yeah, it's got to be in the upper city. 
So I guess I gotta go up there. Which is fine by me. I needed to go up there anyway. To give them my uh, cure that I picked up randomly off the street. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Alright, um... Which one was the elevator? I think this one. Nope. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. This was the elevator. Good. Okay. Had to stretch a little bit. I've had a rib out of place for like three, four weeks now. It feels... It's probably been more than, more than like one, just slightly more, but it feels like it's more than that. Alrighty. Weird how the music suddenly died. <laughs> as soon as I walked down this way. Alright, anyway. Onward we go. Huh. <sighs> Oh, there we go. Perfect. It looked like mission was uh, dragging behind a little bit there. That's fine. Uh, hey, Karth, can I can I talk to you for a second? Are you uh, ready to have a civil chat, or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Fair. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. It's about time you two made up. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Oh, I see. Okay, now they're making it a little friendly uh, jab at each other. Okay, alright. I got a couple of those. I got a couple of those. I know how that is. Uh, where is the cantina? I think it was this way, wasn't it? The cantina! That's the guy kind of said it like, not really. I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> That's what that is. Alrighty. Whoop. Okay, they were dragging behind me again. Mission! Come on. Yeesh. Perfect. Alright. Give me just a second. I need to clear my throat. It's been acting up since I started recording. Alrighty, and we're back. Okay. So. Back up here where we can do the arena. There it is. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. It sounded like you were complaining first, though, Ladies honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Mm -hmm. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. This sounds like uh, it's more or less already decided. You drop your blaster. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's 
just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, okay. that was quick, wasn't it? Um. So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. Well, that was pathetically fast. Because he dropped his blaster. You do not drop your weapon. If you do not have a good enough grip on your weapon, you should not be fighting ever. Oh, my. You're more of a danger to yourself than anyone around you. Or both, honestly, for that matter. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Dueling chambers. You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the mm -hmm. only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Oh. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. Okay. You're the number five ranked out of how many? Uh, five. But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can <laughs> step like into the want to admit chamber. that. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Okay, you don't look so tough. I think he could beat you in a duel. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. Okay. I look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. Alrighty, well. <laughs> Here's hoping for you, bud, huh? Uh, who are you, girl on two fingers? I haven't oh, seen you're the other you guy. around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? Ah, uh, I want to step into the ring. Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If mm -hmm. you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. Fair enough. All right. Sounds fair to me. Ice. That's I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful. I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called ice? Well, I've heard it all before. Uh -huh. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring. Not to have some slack-jawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Wow! 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 <laughs> okay, there's where the uh, there's where the name comes from. Cause wow, that was cold. Now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking mm -hmm. for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, mm -hmm. just go away. Uh, all right, no, talk to him. But I want to talk to all you guys. Oh, they're off world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was oh, yeah. wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. Oh, really? Do I know you? No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. Mm -hmm. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. You're right. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. You're right. Are you looking for a match? Uh, yeah, I am. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Sounds good to me. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. All right, sounds good. Give me just a second. My headset keeps popping in and out, so give me just one moment to try and fix that. All right, I got a little closer to the uh, Xbox. Maybe that should help a little bit. All right, so um, now that we're doing that, uh. Twitch. That's the only other named person here, so. Ready, aim, fire! Is your trigger finger as itchy as mine? What the hell are you talking about? Shoot first, shoot first, party with me, we'll have a blast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> shoot first, shoot last, party with me, we'll have a blast. I misread that in the rush because this guy's a little weird. Okay then, bye. Blast away, open fire, shoot, kill, maim. Um. Okay then. Twitch, is that because you're hopped up on coke or something? Because you seem a little hopped up on something. Mm. Okay, alrighty. 
Azure, okay, let's talk to you. Sorry, human, the betting window's closed. No more fights right now. People are sick of seeing the same duelists all the time. It's bad for business, unless... I mean, my name is Azure. I organize all the duels here. We need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring. It can be a highly profitable venture. Uh... I might be interested. What's in this for me? I can arrange for you to fight in the duel ring. If you win, you get the standard contract. 10% of all wagers. And don't worry, nobody dies in the duel ring anymore. Death matches are illegal. Aww. Most fighters in the duel ring use vibro blades or stun sticks because the ring's pretty small, but a few of the duelists use blasters. Use whichever you prefer. Vibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Yeah, a little bit. The dual ring has energy suppressor fields to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited, so they hurt, but don't kill. And we've got a medic droid in case of serious injuries. Are you interested? I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. <laughs> You're joking, right? If I pay you more, then everyone wants more. No, you get the same as all the others. 10%. That's my final offer. I'm gonna keep trying that, but, uh... Damn. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Good. New blood for the ring. But you'll need a nickname, like Ice or Deadeye or Twitch. Good nicknames make people bet more. Hmm. What's a good name for you? You're an off-worlder. You're new here. People won't recognize you. I know. From now on in the duel ring, you'll be the mysterious stranger. Wow. Creative. Very creative. <laughs> I could go with my name. But they ain't gonna say that, I know that much. That's terrible. Bah, what do you know about nicknames? I've been giving names for 20 years. Mysterious Stranger, that's your name now. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Mysterious Stranger is the perfect name for you. You've got no past, no history. It makes you seem like you have some big, dark secret. <clears throat> People like that. It makes them bet more. This is for the best. We yeah. can use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith have yeah. come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Yeah, that's true, I guess. You ready for a duel now? You want to step into the ring right away? I'll set you up with Dead Eye Duncan to start. I'll tell you the rules if you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. Yes, you fight, and people bet, and I make money. It's all good. Only one rule. Nobody dies. Your opponent goes down, you don't finish them off. Death matches are illegal now. You knew at this. I'm assuming that's supposed to be your new at this. So I'll start you off easy. You get to fight Deadeye Duncan. Are you ready to go into the ring now? Absolutely. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. Mm -hmm. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In yeah. this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan, and in the other corner, a relative. I'm just slightly to off tilt. <laughs> emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious <laughs> stranger. Right. Okay. Anywho, time to go after Dead Eye Duncan. And <laughs> it's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. But really, are any of us surprised? <laughs> Dead Eye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. <laughs> Why wow, he just thrown under the bus? Holy shit. That's so rude. Jeez. Alright. Hey, Duncan, how you feeling? What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. I wasn't planning on that. Uh, you sure have a bad attitude. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I, I have a lot of experience. Better than me. Everyone's better than me. 
blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Uh, I'll just be going now. Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Jeez, the self-drag. Fuck. <laughs> All right, Gurlon, what do you have to say? I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie. But Deadeye's a joke. Oh, come on, he's Even right next to you. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer, if you want to step up to the big leagues. I'll show you what it's like to fight a real duelist. Alrighty, if you say so. What Ice. Do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Well. Alrighty then. I was hoping you'd open up a little. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Yeah. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. That's actually the, one of the first genuine compliments I got. Alrighty. I like you. Goodbye, stranger. I like you, Marl. Maybe we'll talk again later. I like you, Marl. You're nice. Let's see if Twitch has anything new. Okay, goodbye then. Okay. It's just repeating the same things he said earlier. Uh, that's the main reason I didn't say it again. Okay. Good fight, good fight. People like you, mysterious stranger. They bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I'm assuming that's a good part. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. Ten percent of the purse. That was the deal. Here's your credits. You come see me again when you're ready to fight. Only a hundred? Come on. Okay. Oh, that was... I accidentally hit the button. Give me a second. Okay. Let me try that again. <laughs> ah, Mysterious Stranger. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You fought well last time. People like you, Stranger. They bet lots on your last fight. There'll be more on your next fight. I'm assuming there'll be more on your next fight is what they intended. You get 10%, same as always. You want to step into the ring now? Okay, um... Ask some questions. Bah, I don't have time for questions. They don't make me any credits. I want you to fight, not to ask questions, so are you ready to step into the ring? Well, fuck me, alright. I guess I got a duel again. You handled Duncan pretty well. I think you're ready to fight the girl on two fingers. Just remember, girl on uses blasters in the arena sometimes. You ready to step into the arena? Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Mm -hmm. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger! Right. All right, so let's do this all again. Flurry once more. You, you, you didn't bother shooting. That was your, un that was your undoing there. Mysterious stranger has won. Booyah! <laughs> losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him, or is the mysterious stranger for real? More the latter. Only time will tell. I guess it will, won't it? All right. Cool. Fuck yeah. Now let's talk to Gurlon. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Uh -huh. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Right. Blame the injury. Okay. Alright, well, I guess that's valid. Hey, Duncan, have any ideas on that what one? What do you want? Oh, let me guess. Okay, oh, I'll just well, be going now. Okay, goodbye then. He's, he's still in pity party mode. Okay, how about ice? What do you want? Wait, wrong. Oh. Just, be just the same thing. About Marl. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Okay. Goodbye, stranger. Same stuff. 
with all of them. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess I just got to keep moving up the ladder now, don't I? Uh, give me just a second to save, just in case something goes wrong. There we go. Just as a safety precaution, you know, in case things blow up or something. All right. Good fight, good fight. All right. Just paying me my credits. Ooh, I get 200 this time. Yes. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. You want to set up another fight, right? Wow. The ring is in your blood now. It's like a virus. You need to hear the cheers of the crowd. You need the rush of battle. You need to fight again. Okay, calm it down now, okay? I think you're... I think you're projecting a little. I think you're projecting a little bit there, bud. Let's step into the ring now. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I think you're ready to go against Ice, human. She's tough, but so are you. There will be lots of action on this fight. A huge purse. You're ready? Sure. Lots of money. Always good for me. gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Do you Over really? in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, I, I just get progressively more tilting to the left. <laughs> I give you the mysterious stranger. Alrighty. Let's uh, do it. She's got a blaster, which she's not firing as I get in close. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well, problems are happening. Problems are happening now. Okay, well, I'm getting some hits in. Getting some hits in. She's not getting hits on me. Which is working out just fine. Alrighty. We did it. <laughs> Ice is knocked out cold. Looks really? Like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. Yeah, we do. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Absolutely. All right, and I'm a little damaged. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if Gurlon has anything to say about that. You beat me fair and square, stranger. Okay, you're st still going to be pity party. Ice, how about you? I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. Uh -huh. I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. Okay. Good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. What a way to bluntly say I didn't record any more lines than this. Already. <laughs> okay. Well, Twitch any have anything new? Oh, blast away, open fire. Okay. Well. Yep. Just repeating the same lines he said earlier. All right. So let's get those credits. Okay, 300. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess uh, next one to fight is Marl. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're going to keep climbing the ranks, and I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid, I'm looking forward to it. Sounds good. Let's step into the ring then. You don't waste any time, do you? Go Not really. Adger. He'll set the match up. All right, but first we got to talk to Bendak. Just because we have a bounty with his name on it. Literally, it has his name on it. Yo, Bendak. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Fans, huh? I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Yep. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. 
There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me, and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Well, so you're just gonna hide in here like a coward? Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. If all you can right. prove yourself in the ring by beating all these other so-called duelists, I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect the bounty for killing me. That's a good idea. I'll be back as soon as I beat all these other duelists. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, we get the bounty. We get to have a couple fights. It's, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. You shush. You shush, Karth. Alrighty. So, now we know that we have to defeat all the duelists to get to Bendak. And then we'll be doing a deathmatch that is illegal. Don't know how we're going to do that that way, but hey. We'll find a way, right? Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. And there is a Patreon down in the description if you want to give me a little tip or, you know, whatever. <laughs> this has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and uh, doing some quick and easy fights with some quick and easy people oh well, ice was a little more difficult than the rest of them i'll give her that but uh yeah getting some fights in and uh trying to make our way up the top of the dueling chain when it comes to uh the whole dueling scene up here or rather around here on this planet for you